Hello and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and giving back by hitting the like button and also um, your messages. They help me validate information. They help everybody else in the collective understand their energies and what people are going through. So thank you so much. We're going to do a reading today. Um, it's after the eclipse energy. We want to message out for the collective. Please take what resonates, what doesn't is not for you. Don't make it fit. Roles can be reversed. The cards are not really genders. They're actions that are taken. So just remember that. Now, I had somebody contact me. Also, I wanted to make note. Um, I had somebody contact me about um, a reading I did, you know, I don't know, um, a month or so ago, and it's now resonating for them. And I, it was backed up by a reading I did just before Christmas. It was about, I don't know, money or something like that. So um, sometimes a reading, you might need to look back, and if you see a caption that actually is what you're going through, you need that message now because the messages – uh, sometimes aren't happening right now they're what's to come so we're giving you the heads up of the information so you might listen to this reading and think no that doesn't resonate with me and in um, a few weeks time or a month's time or a couple of months time it is about you and it was a warning or a heads up or something like that so just keep that in mind as well so let's get a little message out for the collective it is the month of May we've just had the eclipse energy so let's get a message out and see what what spirit has to come through for the collective after the oh I'm gonna put that back in um, what spirit has a message for the collective after the eclipse energy for whoever needs to hear it. Okay, we have the moon card. Well, there's a big eclipse for you. Lots of emotions. Um, eclipses are wild cards. They're energy um, like a tornado. This is how I explain an eclipse. Negative or positive, it's like a big tornado coming through of energy, okay? And it comes through you, works through you, and it, it ends things or, and starts things. So eclipsed in, eclipsed out. It also brings up a lot of emotion, brings up a lot of energy. It is super duper intensified energy. So it does stir us up and it brings everything out. And think about a tornado when it goes through a town. There's the mess is everywhere or it's destruction or what needed to come up and then we have to come out after the eclipse and actually do the work, whether it's the clean up or whether it's the moving forward, okay? So that's what eclipse energy does. And look at this, bottom of the deck we have um, the ace of um, pentacles, which is about a path. This is the path to go down. Here's the hand of the divine handing you a very abundant path. So a lot of you after the eclipse, after you go through these emotions or whatever emotions come have come up, it might be ready for you to move through that path now. And it could have pushed you towards a path. And I'm hearing north node. Spirit's speaking to me now. They said north node. So a lot of that eclipse energy was about being pushed towards your north node. Um, which is our future, okay, where you couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> look what just came out in reverse. Um, that's expansion, that's moving forward. So whatever the eclipse energy did for you guys, it definitely, um, where you couldn't expand, where you couldn't move beyond, where you couldn't move forward, um, either physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, whatever it is, that looks like that... Um, is what the eclipse energy was about. We'll get one more card and then we'll get some clarifiers and some more in it, more um, information out for you. Yep, absolutely. Where you couldn't or wouldn't or, or just weren't able, let's say emotionally, or something was hidden under illusion or delusion. Okay, this can be my trickery card. Um, either you're in illusion, delusion, someone around you did, or it's emotionally where you couldn't move forward and expand yourself. Look at you moving forward. There's a calling, there's a knowing. The Eight of Cups is all about um, a pulling, a knowing, ready to seek a new journey as 
as well. So it's like you couldn't expand for some reason and now you feel that deep inner pulling and knowing like something is missing, okay? And that could be the message of what the eclipse did bring through for you. What we have here also is victory. Um, you are now moving forward victorious. So, um, you know, that card's all about He's already won the war. He's coming back and everyone's clapping and cheering and, you know, he, he's, he's already got victory. So it is moving forward to something that you know you want to do, you feel confident in, or you um, are really taking that path direction to a place, person, situation where you know you want to be, um, which is the pulling and the drawing, okay? We'll get some clarifiers on why, you know, why you weren't expanding, but <clears throat> let's just follow, keep following this at the moment. Yeah, now you're not sure. It's so interesting energy because this person's so sure of their victory or their direction or they're very confident now to come forth, okay? But this is about, um, you know, it's all up in the air. It's not in reality. So in their mind, they're confident, they're moving forward, they know where they want to go, but they're, they're, it's not in reality yet. Um, or they could be ready for one group to ready to explore their options, okay? Look at all their options. I just also got a third message, so this is for a third group. Someone was um, under illusion, Let's. it's like this, under illusion and delusion. They couldn't see ahead. They couldn't expand because of this illusion, delusion, whatever, this veil, you know, foggy head, whatever you want to call it. Now they've got this calling, pulling and knowing. And I feel here for someone, they, they see the picture clearly now. It's like before they didn't. And now they've gone, oh, I see the picture. I see the movement forward. Yeah, and they're ready to come in and make an offer. They're not moving yet, but they're thinking it out. They're building that confidence to move forward to this. So this was stuff that was hidden or, or they were under an illusion or delusion about something. They were possibly in they were, or where they weren't moving forward. Okay, or what or why they weren't moving forward. Yeah, yeah, Spirit said that's the message. I need Spirit's help this morning. Um... And they're here loud and clear. It's like they're standing there directing these cards for me. It's great. The hanged man, a change of perspective. So that's backing up the last bit that I said. Someone here really couldn't see something for what it was or what was going on. Um, that's why they couldn't move forward. They've had this knowing, this calling, this pulling. Something's not right. Something's missing. Something's not off. I think they've found the confidence or they're finding the confidence to sort through this, sort it out, move forward or go to their choices or options or work out how they can bring it into reality because I think they've had a change of perspective here. They were stuck. We could have had someone who was a bit stubborn headed, um, not seeing things in, in on someone else's side or another perspective. Um, but as I said, I, I always give a few different scenarios at the start until we get some clarifiers because we have different groups. Do we want um, three more cards, two more cards? Yep, the lover's choice of directions, higher, lower self. Um, ten of swords, okay. All right, I've got a clearer picture now and a new beginning and the emperor on the bottom. Okay, so definitely for some of you, um, Spirit said just take a minute. Some of you, this is just about emotionally where you couldn't move forward, okay, where you couldn't expand. I'd say that eclipse has definitely brought something or stirred something up within you where you feel a pulling or a knowing. You're building the confidence. You're working out how to get there and you do feel a little stuck in, in that or you need to change some perceptions or perspectives around it, that moving forward towards your north node, whether it's a career or or anything okay for others of you if this was about relationship which most people want to hear about um someone was definitely under illusion delusion or or, or very emotional or happy or is very emotional now they were being blocked they weren't moving forward they weren't expanding so they've had this knowing they've had this pulling they know something that the puzzle piece of the puzzle's missing or um a direction that's really i've got to head off on an adventure on a journey there's a pulling there's a knowing and that can be a spiritual journey 
journey it can be to someone something uh and but they're, they're very confident they're moving forward they are moving forward they've decided but maybe they're working out how to do that or maybe they're looking at all these things that were in illusion and delusion and fantasy keeping them from moving forward keeping them from not from expanding okay um and a change of perspective they were in the hanged man they were not seeing it clearly particularly with a relationship or group you know this can be peep, um, a path you are heading down a path a choice of two paths two people higher lower self all of that sort of thing so place that where it fits and ten of swords is completion there is nothing more to learn here or whatever was going on here it's stopping you from expanding moving forward um it's definitely going to be put to an end or that eclipse is or will um eclipse energy hits it builds before it hits and then the energy sort of you go on a growth you go on a um an unlearning or a learning and then it hits the, the result of that is in six months so just keep that in mind as well so emperor is all about final decision okay uh being called up called out something being finalized okay so this could be someone that finally sees through an illusion and a delusion or finally sees what was tricking them who was blocking them or where they are in fantasy world um but this has all been stirred up by emotion so let's get some clarifiers for you guys absolutely look at that beautiful the chariot moving forward now you cannot stop a chariot the chariot is all about um yes um moving forward uh taking action um you know it's the car it's the vehicle it's the moving forward um there's another message there though for some of you this this um this emotion that hit with the eclipse it came in like really fast and that like a tornado energy because that can just come in and once you're caught up in that energy you can't help but keep moving forward so if you're feeling that and you're feeling the stress and pressure of that then that's why um the sun card so where you couldn't move forward yay the sun shines a big bright light on who what where when or why or how you were blocked from moving forward it also says that if you move forward you will get success the sun card represents success it's happiness it's joy it, it, it trumps nearly every issue in the deck okay I'm not saying we don't have issues but it, it is a very confident card usually shines a light on illusion and delusion okay um and this is moving forward to someone or something but they have it to give okay someone here is moving towards something where abundance or they're going to receive whether it's from the universe from someone or something it, it, they're saying basically move forward that this is like the chariot the sun and if you move forward you will receive so if anyone is still stuck arming and ah and do i move forward from the old from the south node from the past do i move forward absolutely you do despite all these um emotions and for some of you you were really caught up in someone's illusion and delusion so someone being able to you know you know sometimes we think we're living a certain life or you know um to me that's things were hidden some some things were hidden from you um on purpose for some of you others not um you you had a fantasy that didn't you weren't seeing clearly that was blocking you um and for others this is how do i move forward and bring all this into reality okay what i want because yeah judgment yeah okay yep oh my god why didn't i just pull the puck cards first hey so we have a judgment here this is action now judgment can be from the divine they got their messages and judgment can be actually them making a decision or a calling or something happening you know someone being called out which actually made them move forward something's happened here to make this person move forward and every, for everyone that will be different and yeah i was right about the deceit deception trickery see someone was able to pull the wool over your eyes get away with it it could be for some self-sabotage where you self-sabotaged 
King of Swords has put his emotions aside. There are no emotions with the King of Swords. He is practical, logical. He sees straight through. He calls truth. He sees truth. He can um, detach from his emotions or whatever this is, whatever judgment was made and confidence to move forward and, and over this deceit, deception, trickery or people putting it over you or, or you sabotaging yourself, whatever it is. Um, it looks like he's seen the sword of truth out of this. He's got a new perspective, okay? And it, it feels very final to me. Um, he's smart. He's intelligent. Um, and he, she, by the way. Um, but it is, it's the sword of truth came down. Hence why we were pushed so forward with these emotions, okay? Um, we have strength on the lovers. So this shows me that you are gonna pick your higher self, you are gonna pick your north node, hopefully. This is what this information leads you towards. It's your choice, you have free will unless the universe steps in and says, mm -mm, and starts sending in tornadoes and, and, and things like that to move you forward or make you clear energy to move forward. So what we've got here is the strength, the courage, and that fell under that this confidence that's coming. So everybody is building up their confidence to move forward. Hopefully the messages that I want to give to you is the strength to choose your higher self, the strength to move forward to the future, to your north node, the strength to, to maybe, for some of you I just heard, to actually, you know, um, go into a relationship. Actually open yourself back up. Maybe you're ready, you feel like you, you feel you could do that now, okay? That's just for some of you. <clears throat> um, and, this, and the courage and the strength and the commitment to move forward if you're picking a path with career or, you know, a direction in your life, um, it's like that, that. But I'm hearing an, a message, how much time? Yeah, and <clears throat> on the Ten of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, which is actually all about he, she, by the way, um, taking action, following through. So this is definitely closing out a cycle for you. All lessons are learned, the struggle, whatever. If it was a struggle, if it was painful, this, this is usually betrayal. This is usually very painful lessons that had to be learned in a very big cycle, in a long cycle, in a karmic cycle, and the universe is closing it out. They're saying no more, there's no more road to go, there's no more lessons. And this Queen of Wands is all about taking action. She follows through, she, he, <clears throat> she'll go to the end. She is courageous, she's a warrior, okay? The warrior will seek, will go, will move forward. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, yeah, she has made her decision, he, she, and she, and, and we've got the King of Wands here also about action and moving forward. Despite what you might have to let go or move forward, this is a bit bittersweet, um, <clears throat> she's moving forward. She's making a decision and moving forward, and that's she or he. Okay. Just to validate that, the world card reset. On the new journey there's a reset of karma here when we have all oh, ten of swords queen of wands taking action he she moving forward you can't stop them they're moving forward they say you come with me or you fall away you can come but you're coming with me on my level she doesn't take any bs in a high vibration she has a mission she's a warrior and she completes that mission no matter what in a low vibration, this is a win at all costs, but I'm not getting low vibration here. I'm getting someone closing out something. I'm getting them moving forward. I'm getting the world card, a new reset cycle, and we've got the 10 to the world to the world card, and then the high priestess. This is a higher up. This is an intuition. This is a knowing. This is about um, a contract you have with the universe, and this information has come through now to you to establish and make and, and enforce that you move through forward into the new um, with this spiritual contract. And that's what energy is of um, the universe or an eclipse or moons or energy that moves through us, time that moves through us from the higher up because we're connected spiritual beings. <coughs> Time is 
sense of illusion. validate this high priestess yeah you were blocked you weren't seeing something you weren't willing to move forward or someone or something was blocking you could have been a fear um, but where where that was blocked oh here's a message from the universe uh oh get ready guys where you we've got the high priest and high priestess right here <clears throat> I need to show these cards spirit said I don't know who needs to hear this or see this High priest, high priestess together. That is the higher up. That is the universe. Okay, that is a judge, judgment. Hello. If whoever was blocked or being blocked or not willing to listen to the universe. I know there's a negative message coming here. <clears throat> yep, whoever was playing games, manipulation, who didn't grow, who didn't evolve, who, who interfered, let's say. Let's just leave it at that. You are going to get your message from the universe or someone or something. I got a feeling this is, I know where this is going, but um, let's. So hmm, that's, that's information from the higher up being revealed on purpose from the higher up. Through someone or something, there will be a message. Anyone that's been in lower vibration here. And by lower vibration, I mean, you know, not growing, not evolving. You're either being pushed by the universe, things coming down around you, or um, if there was any interference in someone's higher up purpose, path, union, written by the divine. The divine's been watching and they are stepping in. Uh, stepping in and unblocking it and where you tried to hide it or someone tried to hide it or block it or put fear or whatever it was um <clears throat> well spirit just said yep we're going to clear this lower vibrational frequency right up for you <clears throat> and it's very rare that you had the high priest and the high priestess come out together on top of each other Side by side, I should say, on top of each other. Um, side by side, yeah. Yeah. Star card wish fulfillment. This message will be um, a blessing from the universe to free you if you needed freeing or expand you or allow you to grow or to move you to your north node, negative or positive, okay? Um, you will re-evaluate re everything and where, whatever you're in doesn't feel fulfilling enough. It's time to move forward and here you are looking to make a choice of direction now and you are in thinking mode. What other messages? Can we have a different message? Because I think we've got that pretty clear. We can wrap that up. Um, I'm really drawn to this King of Swords. Yep, this King of Swords. Just to validate the King of Swords that had a change of perspective or clarity or the Sword of Truth, let's say masculine or feminine, the Sword of Truth came through. It's changed someone's perspective because there was deceit, deception, trickery. So just to validate that for you, we have the Devil card, the toxicity, the lower vibrational self, or you were dealing with someone like that or codependence or trickery or whatever it is. Um, yep, they were trying to interfere here. These were people who are not working with you, not working for you. You thought they were. You thought they were really positive, really abundant, on the same page as you, on the same track as you, and they're not. They weren't. They were working against to block you for their own gain, for their own outcome. And this is healing, um, possibly an awakening, and this um, there's a sort of truth. So any imbalance will be rebalanced, and, and this uh, King of Swords definitely did make a decision. King of Pentacles jumped out. He's got something to say, so let's see what he's got to say. Yep, it's time to move forward to more abundance. There's the sun card coming in. There's the chariot. There's the receiving. The universe said, you move on, you move forward, you move on to the new. You stay in alignment with your contract with the universe, with your divine path, and not be distracted by these people. And I think that's a lot of that moon energy too. 
who distracts us, who takes us off our path, who's not for our highest and best, who, you know, I think a lot of that revelation might have come out or will be coming out now. Um, and I just heard hidden truths. Um, all hidden truths will come out. The sun um, illuminates everything. It shines a light on everything. So what's hidden in the dark is revealed by the light. The light reveals what's hidden in the dark, I should say. Um, now we have the... Um, King of Pentacles, which is all about abundance, um, security, stability, um, creating abundance, receiving, collaborating with these people, co collaborating with people who bring abundance, who build abundance, who who live a, a, a more like even energetically abundant life. This King of <clears throat> yeah, see passion, very fast action. Um, past old hurt, old pain, old heartbreak. For some of you, there's a message here coming in that um, someone's rushing back in to heal. They've had that revelation, that epiphany. They've probably seen something from a different perspective, from a different side, and they could be coming back in, rushing back in to clear it, uh, old hurt, old pain, old suffering that they caused, someone that they collaborated with, that um, they are trying to get the courage to come in and possibly... Um, apologize or I don't, I don't know talk it out resolve it um but they the if if yeah, <laughs> offer of love <laughs> put in long-term work manifest a new beginning with you and here's the apology so look an apology a discussion whatever it is i'm not sure uh they are trying to offer um you know something here genuine they are coming in genuine with it that's what they're manifesting how do i come in with a genuine apology and a genuine whatever to um because they were under illusion delusion they're seeing something in a whole new light there was trickery here yeah they're moving on to calmer waters or want to they want to um you know collaborate with you there was a lot of abundance with you and them together or a lot of good you know may, maybe even if it's friendship a lot of good you know can i just have you in my life together we create a lot of abundance type thing um they want to release this burden so there's a message for someone as well <coughs> Um, for some of you releasing the burden um, it, though it, and, and this collaboration, it was about heartbreak um, of deception, deceit and deception and trickery. Um, and maybe they've seen a whole other side of the story or a whole other, because um, uh, the, the, sorry, the word spirit wants me to say is betrayal. It's only if there was betrayal. So if that falls into your... Category. And I think there's a fourth group because Spirit's saying to me now to um, <laughs> validate. What's, the dog? What's for this fourth group? What's the message? Or the other message? It doesn't have to be a group. It could be. It could have several messages in a tornado. Queen of Swords. New path. Oh, wow. Yep, some of you are super clear moving forward, cutting people, places, situations out of your life. You are not being triggered by emotions anymore. Queen of Swords has emotions, but she's been hurt. She knows when to pull them out on the table and she knows when to put them away. She knows when to use them and utilize her emotions and her emotions are safe to be brought forth. And she knows when to put them, uh, uh, you know, become, uh, hide her emotions and mask her emotions. She has issues with trust, and that is through uh, deceit, deception, which has come up in this. So this male or female, that you know, that's very clear. Um, and she's going for, towards this new path. And for some of you, if you were on the negative side of betrayal, deception, deceit, trickery, it looks like this new path, the universe is shining a big bright light saying, here it is. We're going to present it to you. It's coming in. And so that's a really, aces and new beginnings. So it's, it's a reset with the well card over here. It's really positive. Um, yeah, you might have to defend off um, some people having their say, opinions coming at you. Um, this person's not worried. They're standing their ground in their truth. See, justice will be served. Karmic justice. Um, 
some of them were stubborn or stuck, um, but they know what I'm getting cancel that. They're moving forward to this path. They're, they're going to stand up for any, they're going to stand up for this person that they want to head towards. They're thinking it, they've been thinking it, they've been thinking on it, they've been sitting on it. They have wanted to go forward to this loving, caring, nurturing, hardworking Queen of Pentacles. She's self-sufficient. Um, you know, she is okay independently, like makes her own money, whatever, he, she. This is someone independent but stable but loving, you know, has it to give, has the nurture to give, has the security and stability to give, very stable, very secure, um, and justice. That's commitment, That that's karmic justice. This person's been thinking about coming towards, they are finally going to move forward to this or take action towards whoever they think is their queen of pentacles. Someone that's caring and loving, 10 of cups, they want a relationship with that person. Okay, so someone, this eclipse has, has awoken them to who their person is or the path, whether it's someone from the past or, or you know, or new or whatever, or you just get someone getting the courage or the epiphany to take the right path. But um, yeah, hermit, they had to go inward on a soul journey. They had to clear up their past. They had to go inward. They had to heal themselves. That's dark night of the soul. They had to do some work on themselves. And now they want a new beginning. And they want a new beginning. Yeah, two of cups. They want a union. They want a commitment. This is a spiritual union. This is a connection. So it's not just, oh, I like that person. This is a higher divine purpose, a higher divine spiritual connection. This is a commitment to that. Because remember over here we talked about you need to go on your north node. And the high priest and priestess is about a spiritual contract that you have um, with someone or something, okay? And, and this is exactly what this card is. This is a spiritual knowing, a spiritual path that someone had to go into their dark night of the soul and clean themselves up for both, who knows, for this new beginning, for this union. And there is commitment here and karmic justice or a spiritual contract, that's so good. <clears throat> and when we get those unions happening, coming in, for whoever that resonates with, um, we can have a lot of sabotage, a lot, which could make sense to that pile over there. Two of Cups. Yeah, these two are single, um, or someone is, one or both are single, self-sufficient, possibly entrepreneurial, possibly, you know, self-employed, make their own money. They're not people who need people. They're not people that, the only, the only pentacle missing here for them is the ten of pentacles, which is the partner. And nine's completion, they're ready for that partner now. Are we going to get more? Not really. Oh, it's going to come in really fast. And they've put the past behind them. The wounded warrior has been through it. Nines, lots of nines here. Yeah, they're ready to make an offer, an offer and they're ready to move forward and take action towards you. Very passionate. There's a lot of passion here and a lot of romance. And it's an emperor. Final to king of cups, love, spiritual connection. Okay. Bottom of the deck again, ten of cups, and you saw me shuffle that, guys. So what I'm going to do is because we've got minutes, <laughs> let's get a message for each pile about, oh, I don't know which one to use, um, for the deception I want to use those cards over there. For this deception pile, this trickery, um, someone being deceived or you sabotaging or whatever it is, let's just get one card on that. Anxiously waiting. So this, yeah, an an anxiously waiting. So they are anxiously waiting to go back in, remember it, give an offer, heal the past, something they've hurt someone, they've had a change of perspective. But also um, they were searching for you in everything. They feel you everywhere and you're always in the back of their mind, hoping they run into you. 
So there was definitely betrayal. Remember I said that was about someone who descended badly or there was bad betrayal here. Okay, that clarifies that for me. That person, if they come back in, um, which it looks like they're trying to or want to, they've had a really big epiphany. Um, they definitely have been looking for you in everyone and everything. And obviously they didn't find it because you're always in the back of their mind, okay? Um, and they're just hoping to run into you more than, and that's um, that makes sense to the cards that came out. If you're waiting for answers from that person, unexpected answers, remember I said the universe is delivering these answers to you, whether it's from that person or through other people. The universe is going to send you unexpected answers that you seek. Um, it may be too late, though. Uh, some of you may have moved on. Others, you, uh, I can't, you know, some of you will listen and take it back and work through it. Other, This card says that, they may have waited too long to come back in. Yeah, they're plotting. All right, we're going to wrap that up because I could keep going into one more. All right, spirit set, one more. Hopeful. They are opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. So this person's really is in regret. So, okay, so I got the message to an um, unexpected message. Maybe it's too late. Maybe you'll move on. Maybe not. The person is hoping that you will be open um, to love or allowing them um, or to come in. Uh, you bring meaning to their life. Remember I said they want, even if they wanted to be friends or have you in their life or something like that. That's completely up to you. I can't make those decisions for you. Every circumstance is different. They're hopeful. And if you have moved on, I can see you're starting to become hopeful again and you're starting to move past the betrayal and the hurt. You will get the closure. You will get the messages, all right? But or the answers that you needed, possibly to move you on, to move you forward. Um, and you seem hopeful again, which is really, really good. All right. Um, let's get a message on this Hierophant High Priestess. Seek inspiration. Yeah, they've stepped into definitely. Mm, tell your story. Oh, so this high priest, high priestess energy, let's call it the universe, who's delivering this message to whoever needs to hear it from the universe about moving on, moving forward, or a situation. Um, uh, they've heard your side of the story, and now the other side's going to hear your side of the story. Um, and... It's all to move you forward, inspiration, inspire you, get your energy back, get your punish back, get you looking into the future. Oh my gosh, I had that in my hand. I was saying it before I looked at it. Yeah, moving you into the North Node, whatever they're bringing through, they have heard you, they have seen it, they, they've heard your story, they're telling your story. That's, that's connected to karma, guys. And whatever is going to go down here with that high priest, high priestess universe energy, is definitely moving you forward into your future no matter what, which, which, whichever story's happening for you. Oh, oh, oh. That's way too many. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> now, let's just get a card on here. So basically for the spiritual union coming together, there could have been some issues or some biases, some opinions, some old outdated programs that were keeping this apart. Um, that seems to be cleared up, okay? And trust in the process um, that that's coming in and forward. Yeah. 
There'll be a leap in your fortune with this connection, with this spiritual connection. Now just get a clarifier on this King of Swords. And then I have to wrap it up. The key to wisdom. So remember I said people working against him, for him. We have the devil card here, change of perspective, healing, the sword of truth. Yep, what have we got here? We have the key to wisdom. So the information's come through from the higher up and the lessons will learn. I've got to wrap it up. I'm going to move, run out of time. Thank you so much. I hope this helped you. Thank you. Goodbye.